Feel the difference. Oh yeah. And this, this is what is it, this is what it has to be. Yikes. So we need to like I dig at this. Coming off. That has to be sanded off. Yeah, this is this is poor adhesion. This is this is just this is bad knot attack, I'm sorry. Look at the view tonight. And here she is. Good morning. It's the day after having it blasted. All the paint was removed, so it's a very different color now. But we discovered a problem. We've got some blistering happening here and a couple of other spots on the inside of the hulls here that we're trying to take care of and see if we can sand them out. I'm using a Dremel to kind of clear out. It doesn't go very deep, you can see. It's just one kind of little layer in. So we're gonna try and see if we can fix this. If not, this can be a much bigger problem. Sometimes when you pop them, this liquid comes out, it smells a bit vinegary, it's kind of gross. Yeah, it's a chemical reaction happening up in there and it can really damage the hull if we don't take care of it, which has delayed our copper coating. We'll see if we can move forward or not. the boat let me show you what we did yesterday was this entire hull see how it's white well that's what it looked like yesterday now it's all white on both sides you can see how white and shiny and clean it is ready for us to fill the little pocket holes we've got and then get ready to start prepping for our copper coat so this is what we're doing today. Um, the, this hull is the worst. We've got tons of blistering happening here. And here, all these little things had, like you pop them and this vinegar stuff comes out. And then another over here. Um, yeah, we tried to and it, we've got a lot of sanding to do, and this part seems to be taking a while to come off. It's not pretty. Oh, and it's cold and windy. Makes my eyes water. Uh, and cry because of all the work I have to do. <laughs> all right. Wish me luck. Okay, Sunday. And we have spent the last three days doing nothing but sanding nonstop. We sanded down the bottom pretty much completely we found a lot of problems with the all right we started taping her up and we added this plastic liner it's gonna go all the way around to catch any dew to make sure it doesn't drip onto our paint I was like cutting the strips of this plastic that we're taping up Okay, we did our first barrier coat on this hull. 
And it's looking darn good.